So for this part of the video, I'm going to talk about uh, these um, the sliders and the encoders uh, or knobs and um, also the channel banks um, and how they can be controlled. Um, so uh, when you first start up the keyboard, um, you know, these directly are just going to um, control the, uh, the mixer panel. Um, so this adjusts the volume, the bottom most is zero, and the top is 100%, not 125%. Um, you know, you can tweak, you can use your mouse to tweak this further up to get a much higher volume. Um, but most of the time, you know, I've, uh, I haven't heard of many people who do that. Uh, you can clip audio that way. So um, right now I have the max set to 100% here. Um, so the um, so each of these they adjust you know track one through eight, and then this last slider um, is always going to be reserved for the max uh, the master track, um, and then this one you know is panning for the master track. The knobs on the default mode um, you know adjust the panning as well, um, and um, these lights that are glowing indicate um, you know if it's glowing it means it's controlling the panning. Um, and you can hold it down to control uh, to turn it off. And now we're controlling uh, stereo separation. So, you know, this is stereo separation for track one, stereo separation for track two, for track three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so forth. And this is always going to stay as master. Um, and then, if you short press uh, these buttons here, um, what that will do is it'll change what tracks you're controlling. So before we were controlling tracks one through eight. So all of these buttons, the, the top uh, the top map to mixer tracks one through eight. And then for um, MK2 keyboards, these bank buttons, they map to uh, channel rack, uh, you know, channel rack banks one through eight. Um, and, you know, you can change what they map to just by um, pressing the next or previous next to increment previous to decrement. Um, so now we are controlling track nine and you can see, um, excuse me, let me zoom in. You can see now that if I'm adjusting the, you know, the slider here, it's going to impact, you know, the 10th channel, the 11th um, and so forth. Um, and you know, this last slider is always, always the mass. It always impacts the master. Okay, and um, you know you can actually. Uh, this is a circular um, navigation, so if you keep going down, it'll go to the topmost. So at most, you can control up to 128 tracks, um, or for the bottom, you can select up to 128 um, uh, channel rack banks, uh, channel rack channels. Um, and you know, I, I don't know if anyone ever needs more than 128 um, tracks, but if you ever do, uh, you can reach out to me on my Discord channel, and I can tell you how to add add uh, more pages okay um, let's see what else the other thing is is um, the lights for these bank buttons um, the coloring is based off of what you select as the color for the channel rack um, so if I add it if I add a um, an instrument let's say vital and I decide to color this, you know, I decided to change the background color for this. So let's make this red. This will update the um, coloring on my bank buttons as well. Um, and by default, if you select nothing, um, the value is gray, but the hue maps to something bluish. Um, and so that's that's what it is. Um, and so let's let's keep adding more. Um, so let's so so you get a sense that if we have more than um, eight channels, what happens? So I'll keep, uh, let's add a couple more. So this is five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, and let's add a ninth. And 10th. Okay. And then we're gonna ch change these colors accordingly so you can see what's happening. Um, so let's change this one to green and change this one to orangish and maybe this last color I'll make this one um, green
greenish as well. Um, so you'll see like, um, you know, this, the bank buttons are colored and my last, um, you know, channel is corresponds to the green, uh, green button color. And then if I go to the next page, um, you know, nine through 16, um, you see the color corresponds to these last two. So, um, you know, track nine is trillion, which is orange. Track 10 is vital number four, which is green. Um, and I can select them. And um, the bank buttons that have no lights correspond to um, uh, no nothing appearing, uh, meaning it's, it's unassigned. Um, for essential keyboards, um, the way I map the coloring is that when you press the, um, the, 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 or sorry, when you select the, the channel from, you know, from this, um, then the pad colors are set to whatever the channel color is set to. Um, and so that, that works like that. And if you don't like it, there's a config.py file that you can edit to disable it. Um, I'll cover that in another video. Um, okay, and so I think I've covered that. So these, um, again, will control this. And there's one more thing you can do, um, but I'm not gonna cover what it is in this video because that'll make this video too long. But you can actually hold um, this button down and change this so that we're controlling plugin mode. And this will actually send um, MIDI, key, uh, MIDI notes to the active plugin and those are uh, those can be assignable. Um, I'll cover this in another uh, video so I can kind of so that I can explain um, how to fully make use of that. But otherwise, you know, um, holding this will toggle between you know controlling the mixer panel. If it's glowing, it's controlling the mixer panel. If it's not glowing, it's controlling or sending data to the plugin. Um, and again, for this top button, if it's glowing, it's controlling the panning. If it's not glowing, it's uh, controlling stereo separation. And then doing normal presses on these buttons will change the um, track numbers that um, you know these control, and they all they all change simultaneously. So right now everything is controlling tracks one through eight. Uh, now everything is controlling tracks nine through sixteen, either in the mixer or the channel, um, and so forth. And then this last um, this last set of knob and slider, and um, this button which doesn't do anything if you press it. Um, these are reserved just for the master channel, or sorry, the master mixer track. Um, okay, so that's it for this video. Um, I will cover uh, other parts of the keyboard in subsequent videos. All right, thank you.